Hi, everybody. I'm Elliot Brecht of the Cheeky Scientist. And today I have another whiteboard training for you. Today I'm going to talk to you about referrals and what is a referral. So let's just say you have a friend who works at company, you know, XYZ. Then they're going to tell you and the hiring manager about you. And thus you can then skip ahead of everyone else and interview directly with the hiring manager you'll do this and you'll then go back and you know filling out the application is just sort of perfunctory just to you know fill out and you know cross all your t's and dot all your i's but it's getting that person to actually who works at a company to then tell you and the hiring manager that you're a fit for a specific role. And one of the things that we want people to know is there's a big difference between connecting and networking. Um, everyone goes over and you're going to usually go over and you're going to connect with people. You're going to go to a networking event and you're going to go over and you're going to get people's business cards and think, oh, I'm networking. I should be done. You know, that's it. But there's a big difference between connecting and actually networking. Networking is that follow up. You, know, you want to be able to go and, and get that referral because that is one of the ways that you get the fastest hiring times. It's the number one source of hiring value. It's the number one source of hiring quality. And it's the number one employee length. That means that both the employee and the employer actually like the position or like you in the position. However, this is only 7% of applicants and we need to change that because that means the other, you know, 93% is people who are just like randomly uploading and going through the other routes. However, while this is the number one quality person for the role this is the least utilized arena and we want to change this and we want you to be able to figure out how to leverage this so that you can then get a you know referral and get a position as well you know so your referral isn't necessarily going to always be that shared connection most referrals actually come from someone who's a second or a third degree connection and this is where you want to go through and make sure that you're doing this properly so that you can actually move into that and actually get to that referral stage you now because we want to up that from the seven percent that we're standardly seeing of people who are actually doing the referral because again this is the fastest hiring time whenever i went through and was moving into Gentech. I had a referral. I ended up going over and the next day doing a phone screen with the hiring manager was brought on site the following week and then given an offer the end of that next week. So it was less than two weeks for me, you know, and this might be a little short, but it's usually you can get hired within two and three weeks this way because you're going through and you're skipping all the rest of the steps and immediately going through talking to the hiring manager, skipping through all the, and all the other stuff is just sort of done up afterwards. So we want to get people to go through and realize that there's more to this and more to going over to, you know, lowering the activation energy to get someone to actually give you that referral. And how you do that is you actually have to network. You're not just connecting. And how do you actually network? Networking is actually following up, talking to a person and actually going through the steps of, you know, asking them, just, you know, sincere, casual questions. So you're going to go through and you're not going to go over and just like immediately connect with somebody you know, connect with them on LinkedIn or at a networking event, getting their, you know, their business card and then following up and being like, oh, I saw there was a job. Can you give me this job? You're, you haven't lowered the activation energy there. You want to go through and you want to do straight line networking. What is straight line networking? So straight line networking is where you're going to go over and you're, you as the person who wants to get the referral, who wants to go through and continue to go over and get this job. You need to follow up. You need to continue to talk to this person. And then, you know, you're going to need to go over and talk to them, you know, Know, three, four, five, six times, you know, before in connecting with them and, and building a rapport so that you're lowering that activation energy so that they understand and know you as a person so that when you then ask them for the referral, it doesn't seem like a big ask because they already know you because you're already friends. You know? So how you do this is you're going to start off by asking sort of, the, again, those, those simple, you know, casual questions. You're going to go through and be like, so I understand, you know, you now just moved into a new role. You now just wrote this paper. Uh, you have this project. I'm excited about what, you know, I'm seeing you doing at ABC company. You're going to ask them some questions. And a lot of people, you know, how many times, and I bet you a lot of you have gone over and connected and then like you started doing a little bit of 
networking. You connected with a person and said, oh, hi, how are you? And then you probably tried, you know, once, twice, and then you just gave up. And like, oh, well, they didn't give me an in. They didn't give me, you know, they didn't ask me a question back. They didn't act, you know, they didn't engage me like that. You have to be the one who follows up because you're the one who actually wants to get this job and you're the one who wants to get a referral. So you need to go through and you need to be the one who actually puts in all that extra energy in doing that. So like, you'll start off, you know, how is your 2020 going? You know, how are you? Are you working from home? You know, some questions like, and they'll be like, yes, I'm, you know, doing this or no, I'm back in the lab and doing that. And usually, you know, they might not ask, you know, they'll ask something and how are you doing? You know, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. You know, I'm also working from home. And then that's it. You're not doing a follow up. You're not asking additional questions. You're not going over and trying to, you know, build that rapport with them more. So you've got to go over and you've got to go through and, you know, start up the conversation nice and casually and, st and straightforward. And then you're going to go over and, and then afterwards you'll, you'll go and you'll ask some other questions like, you know, you know, what is your day to day work? What are your projects like? What are you doing? I'm interested in, I, I heard your company is doing, you know, you know, MNO, you know, you're, you're doing, you know, XYZ, you're doing, you know, one, two, three, and you go through and ask these questions and try and get an understanding of what they're doing. Oh, I'm, you know, really interested in the company because they're doing this. You ask them questions and you start building them without asking too many, you know, hard line, you know, long winded questions because you want to go through and you want it to be simple and easy for them. So you want to go through and when you're asking these questions, you don't want to go over and be like, oh, I need, you know, a couple hours of your time to basically ask you everything. That's a big ask, you know, so you're going to want to go over and have like smaller steps of going through. And, and so it's an easy you know, response for them so that they're not being put out. So you go through and afterwards, you know, after you've started building up a little bit of rapport, you know, you can then go through and start trying to do a, a you know, a casual informational interview saying like, oh, I'm already going to be, you know, making some phone calls. Do you happen to have some free time, you know, this week where we can chat for, you know, you know, five minutes or so, so I can ask you a couple additional questions, you know, about your role and how you got your role and, you go through and you, you, you've given them now like a small time window. It's not a big ask because you're already making you know phone calls. You know, do they happen to have any free time as well? You've got to go through and you, you have to be as the person who's actually trying to do the networking. You have to put in more energy into there so that when they respond back, their energy output is lower. So you're lowering that activation energy for them. So, you know, so you're putting in the extra energy so they don't have to. They should not be the one who's having to follow up and then being asking you if you want a chat or asking you a you know you know question you've got to go through and give them the opportunity to then respond to these things because you're putting in the extra energy this is where people go over and, and fail most time it's because they'll make that connection oh i have a connection now i just go over and now i can ask them for a job no that's a big ask you you haven't lowered that activation energy for them you haven't made it an easy ask for them because it's a big thing they don't know you they're not you know you're not vetted yet by them so they don't know who you are they don't know the work you're doing so you go through you lower those down, you ask them about their day to day, about their research, about the interest in the company, you know, what they like about it, simple things like that. And then they'll go back and in response, because in a conversation, people are going to then, you know, and, and you, and what are you doing? What are, what are you interested in? And this gives you a chance to then go through into your elevator speech, your little, you know, five minute blurb of who you are and, you know, what your interests are and where you want to see yourself and why you like, you know, their company and why you do this. And then, and then again, not right after that, you're not going to ask for a referral, but again, you've lowered that activation energy. So it's not a big ask. Sometimes maybe they'll ask you for your resume. So like, oh yeah, if you have your resume, maybe I'll see if there's someone who's around, but then you go over and after having done these sort of things and, and lowering that down for them, you then, then later on can then say, oh, I happen to see that there's this job, you know, would you mind referring to me? You don't connect with somebody after having seen a job, asking them one question and then immediately going through, oh, and I saw this job, can you refer me? That's a big ask. So you've got to lower that energy again. So you know, you you need to go through and do that straight line networking where you're going over and always have that end goal in mind and you have to put in the extra energy. You have to go through and you have to 
initiate the connection, which is just the first step in that. That's not networking. That's just connecting. You now have a person in your connection. Then you go through and ask them some questions about themselves, you know, just the, the, the things, how they're doing in life, how they're going through, how they're then moving in and how they're going through and at work and how things are going there. So you're going through and you're continuing to lower that energy for them. You'll then go through and, and see if you can set up like an informational interview with them or continue via, you know, chat or text or email or however you've connected with them and going through and going and moving it, you know, down that line so that you can then continue to go over and ask them more questions and then eventually go over and be like, oh, do you, you know, is there anybody else I should be talking to who's at your company who might be more aligned with my interests? Do you happen to know anyone else there? Do you, you know, do these things? So you can go over and start building in these things until you've connected with someone who then can actually either refer you or is a hiring manager and that goes through this is how you go over and get these referrals you have to go through and you have to actually make it networking and not just connecting this is where people go over and and, and fumble the most and this is what we want to go over and we have a lot of the information we have all of these sort of the toolboxes available all scripts for you if you go to phdsgethired.com, can link you into how to get it, how to get these materials, you know, so you can go through and really get more information, how you go through and you're moving that connection into networking so that you can actually go through and actually get that referral at the end of your straight line networking. You've got to go through, you, you've got to make it easy for them. You've got to lower that activation energy and you have to realize that networking is that ongoing conversation and not just that initial connection. This is where people go over and fail. Again, most people are going to go over, do it, you know, two, three times, and then they're going to be done. And you're not going to be doing just like one of these at a time. You need to go through and you need to go through and be open to, you know, asking and working on lots of connections you know you need to change your your threshold there you're going over and like yes it's going to be and it's going to feel like a lot of work you're going to be making a lot of connection you're making new friends you know so you're going through and you, you you don't go over and immediately just make a new friend the first time you meet them and be like oh and now we're besties now um, you want to go through and you need to go through and make sure you're, you're making it easy for them you're lowering that activation energy and you're continuing to go over and have a conversation with them and not just one person at a time you need to be going through and doing multiple people, multiple company, multiple people at the same company. If this is your your favorite place, you want to you want to be there. You go through, and you're gonna you're gonna talk to multiple people there. You're gonna go through, and you're gonna talk to multiple people at different companies. You know, so you're going through, and you're you've got to change that threshold in yourself. So you need to go over and change that mindset of that you're actually networking and not just connecting. And then you need to change the threshold in your head of how many of these are you going to be doing? You need to be doing lots of these, you know, you go over and there's, it's a, a return on, on, you know, there's a numbers game, you know, yes, if you're doing it one at a time, it's going to take you forever. But if you're going over and actually actively networking with multiple people, you've, change that threshold for you and it makes it so much more likely you're going to get that referral which is again that is the number one you know source for quality hires it's the number one source you know for employment happiness and value this means like everybody likes it you know the fastest hiring time you know this goes over and you're going to instead of being months and waiting and, and putting it into and seeing whether or not you even make it through the ats software you know you're going and your, your resume is being handed directly to the hiring manager you know this is actually you need to go over and switch these things up in your head and this is how you're going to get yourself hired so again everybody remember your value as a phd and keep thinking and acting like an industry professional bye